Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Stump and I'm host and founder over here at Upside Down Outdoors. Today we take you to Central Virginia to a little place known as Dillon as we're set out for the spring turkey season. I'm joined by my father as I will be doing much of the calling and filming of the hunt. We walked up to the top of the hill where my dad had been seeing a few birds working over the past couple weeks. As daylight was breaking, I hit a soft yelp on my mouth call and was able to get a gobbler to respond. One of the biggest mistakes hunters typically make during the spring turkey season is overcalling to gobblers that are in roost. This makes that gobbler feel as if the hen is coming closer to them. They'll simply stay in roost a lot longer and be on the lookout for that hen on the edge of those field lines. Oftentimes, if this bird does not see that hen approaching, they'll typically move on and go to a bird that seems closer or a bird they spotted from roost. I hit the call one more time and the bird responded. I knew he had heard us. Take a look at the footage and see what happens next. We were about 200 yards further up the fence line when we first heard the bird gobble. I wanted to get in better position as I knew the bird was roosted on the hillside. We found some good cover on the fence line and I told my dad to get in shooting position as I ran up and set up the decoys. Man, look at a beard. Wow. 
So it was opening day. Uh, it's here on a Thursday. We heard him gobble out a roost. We got in. And uh, about 15 minutes later, we uh, saw this bird coming in. Full strut. I wasn't able to really do much camel work because I was uh, doing a lot of calling. But this bird came in full strut, saw the decoys, and we let him work about 30, 30 yards or so up to the top. And um, I'm out here in Dillon, Virginia. Uh, I took the day off work here today to come hunt with my dad, and he uh, laid the hammer down on him. But uh, overall, nice bird. We heard about four or five different birds got a lot of roost. It's still early, so um, we're going to try to go see if we can get on another bird. But overall, it's a real nice bird. Um, got about, I'd say, nine-inch beard or so. Um, but... Uh, we're going to go and see if we can get on another bird, so uh, stay tuned. We'll be back. Uh, 15 minutes. That's all hey, Is there anything you want to say? I mean, No, I'm just tickled or? to death. But, um, yeah. Tickled to death I could be here. So, um, yeah, we'll be back <coughs> and um, see if we can get on another bird. It was only 6.30 and we had our first bird down. My dad was going to take over the camera, and I was going to get a chance to do some hunting. We did hear a few birds continue to gobble, and we tried to get closer, however, the birds went silent. All in all, it was a very exciting hunt. It was the first confirmed kill that we had on video here at Upside Down Outdoors, and we look forward to bringing you more here in the near future. So I'd like to say thank you for uh, tuning in today here at Upside Down Outdoors. We turn them upside down. For the Mason Dixon, working, spitting, hunting, fishing, stone cold country by the grace of God. I was gassing up the other day, and old boy pulled up with a license plate from Ohio. Thought, oh, good Lord, he's lost. From his Wranglers to his boots, he reminded me of Chris Ledoux and that cold and smile. Country must be country wide